Hello. Hello. It's the end of the year shop tour. Let's get it, people. So here we are. Here we are. End, end of the year. End of 2021. Oh, what a year. Another cracker. <laughs> what a year for the shop, though. Oh, it's been amazing. Amazing. We've had Toy Shop on tour. Yeah. We've done. We've been. We've been seeing some amazing toys this oh, year, and we've had some of our best stuff this year. I think. Yeah. Come through the door. Definitely. It's been awesome. It's been great. If you think about grails, we're going to tick some grails oh, off today. Yes. Oh, um, yeah. One really big one. Yeah. Well, a really big one. There's two or three. Let me tell you. So <laughs> we're going to get to straight to it. Yeah. Let's get on it. Let's go. So we've got an elephant in the room. Yes, that's right. We've had some new cabinets. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? Look at that, brightly lit. Look at those colours. Look, pop at, on the look at everything so colourful. It is. It's amazing. Thanks to my dad. Yeah. Can't thank my dad enough. Gav's dad <laughs> is an absolute legend. So he's he's got. We've got a new counter. We've got new cabinets. It's amazing. New lighting. New lighting in here. This is all again relit cabinet. But there is also something we need to talk about in this cabinet. So let's get straight to that. We always love it when we get a cat's lair in. So we've got it, pride of place in this cabinet. We don't get them very often, just like we've got a driller as well, a really beautiful driller. And we bought almost a full collection of Thundercats. Incredible stuff. Even the little burbles. And everyone loves them, as weird as they are, like little robot Ewoks or something. I don't know what that was all about, to be honest. Oh. Don't forget, with his original wings, we've got Astral Moat Monster. Nearly all the heavy hitters, Thundercats. Take a look at this bad boy. Here's one we don't see very often at all. Absolutely beautiful. Laser Power Hema. He's amazing. Like a lot of the toys that we tend to love though, it's a little bit rubbish. <laughs> I mean, his backpack is clearly just a big battery pack. And it's just, yeah, it's quite clumsy, isn't it? But he works. He's had a bit of a repair look, just along the top there. But just so rare to see one. Yeah, it really is a grail piece. He's one of the, he, I've, I've had probably two or three of these in my entire time and they're never complete. So it's nice to have a complete one in the shop. Here we have, yes, the granddaddy of the Micronauts. Dennis Fisher, a British company, bought these, bought the license to make these, the Henshin Japanese toy, and oh, they're just awesome. The Android, you never see him with the green missiles on the back, because these would have been lost straight away. But this one is a superb example. He won't be in long, he's literally gonna be here just for a, a few days, I reckon, because the first person that comes in that claps eyes on him, he's gonna buy him. He's amazing. They're a fantastic toy line. I love these. Whenever I see them in a box, because they're quite recognizable, you see them and just a leg sticking out or anything, you know exactly what it is and you know to buy the box. It's one of those that you sort of go, oh, because you never know what's going to be in there. These limbs, these limbs here, just mega, mega money these are. Really expensive. So I, I love finding these and particularly these sort of limbs and bits and bobs here because you just don't see them in the wild. We've had loads of loose unboxed Black Series in this week, and I really like them. Some of them are better than others, but generally the detail on them is phenomenal. And the new paint that they can do these days, the faces are so good, so much detail in the eyes and it gives them a much more realistic look to the figure. And this has been hammered. This was full at one point, but we've still got some great ones in. All of Rebels, one of my favorite Star Wars, uh, Star Wars things. It's underrated. Watch Rebels, everyone. Get on it. It's just like old Star Wars, but animated. It's great. Not like old animated Star Wars though. That's a bit different. But also, we have droids. We've had a few uh, droids figures in, but they've been selling lately. So we're down to our last four, but then this lovely graded Uncle Gundy came along. And look at him. 
Look at that character. Looks a bit like Danny DeVito. But he's cool. He's just like a cool old man figure. <laughs> That's all we want, really, isn't it? Brilliant. I'd want to get him out of the packet, though. But not in this graded box. Wicked. From one cool old man to another, it's Joe. Hello. Yes, and I have cool. I mean, I don't know whether you got the idea for an old man with the tash, but you know, here he is. And he is rather cool. Queel. 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 How, how do you say it? Queel, I think. Queel. There we go. But we've stocked up with lots and lots of Black Series in our new counter display. Look at that. Delighted to have this. Needs a bit of a dust. You know, we get in there. It's been busy, people. Been busy. Anyway, you can have these starting from about a tenner each. But what about this monster? Yes. Here we have an Eternia. Now, I've been doing this a long time, right? And this is genuinely something I've never, ever had. They've always eluded me. I've been close on many occasions, but they've eluded me. Not so now. This is a Eternia. And... I'll be honest with you, I've not been here for a few days, and James has had to set it up. <laughs> we know that there's broken parts, there always is, um, just because of the track. We have a lot more of the bits for it downstairs. So yeah, and we've got nowhere to put it. I tell you what, it is surprisingly huge. It's massive. Because you see the box deterniers out there, not very often, obviously, no. but you see them. And how's this all fit in that box? I don't know. And there's more bits. I don't know, I think There's boom. like a huge monorail and everything, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. But it's great, look at it. These arms. It is, it is a monstrous toy, isn't it? It's so big. We've not even got cabinet space for it. No. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know where we're going to put it, but you know, we're pleased to have it. Man. It's brilliant. It's just so cool. But this is something new for me. So I'm learning about this. So it's for me, it's going to be like today. I can't wait just to sort of try and have a bit of a play, get it set up as best we can. There are some broken pieces of track. There are some bits missing. But hey, just have an example in the building is amazing. I love it. We've got some three and three quarter Commando figures. What an amazing film Commando was. My favorite bit was right at the beginning when it's all gentle before it kicks off. There's a honey gently feeding a deer. <laughs> it's so good. But look, they're really good figures. For the time, the likeness on that is actually decent. You know, he's the main man, Matrix. The others are all figures that they sort of, what they did with toy lines back then, they just make up characters to go with the main man. And we got this guy here, Leadhead. He's the most difficult one to get. And uh, he's just a masked figure. But look at him, look how chunky he is. Great figures. Look, there they all are. Specs, Blaster, Chopper, proper 80s names they are. Sawbones. <laughs> Psycho. Great if you need stuff. any help with the film bits, then you can give me a shout because uh, <laughs> Cause I know all the quotes. Because you famously know all the films yeah, from back then when you didn't have a talent. Um, get to the <laughs> chopper. Let off some steam, Bennett. Kill me, do it now. <laughs> I don't. It's like, like it's like Arnie's here. I don't. I, I've never seen it, but my <laughs> mate used to do those impressions from various Arnie films. They're not all from that film, are they? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it, so it, what's it about? Commando? Yeah. A bunch of guys come along and he just kills them all. Oh. Standard. Standard plot line, brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> G.I. Joe is a line that I have a love-hate relationship with. I'm not very good with them. I'm not the best. So bear with me whilst I stumble through these names. Um, but yeah, there are some very cool, I think Euro Exclusive, I think Psych Out is a Euro Exclusive down there. We've got some really nice Tiger Force, generally, in the cabinet. I mean, we've got two of the helicopters, which the name escapes me. We've got the plane, the Rattler, the Rattler plane, which is like, I told you I was, don't have a go at me. I did say, I did say this at the start, if you're gonna be like that, we won't talk. But we can, we can. We can look at all these lovely things and you can come and buy them because they're all for sale now and there's more to put out, but I just need to try and sort them all out. Because I'll be honest with you, they're a right pain in the bum to sort.
Hold on, hold on. Don't open that. Oh, Don't right. show them that yet. That's for next year. Well, I mean, I want to. I know what's in here. I want to open Whoa. it. I want to know. Yeah. Let's get it open. Come down oh, to the shop. Come down and see what we've got. Let's tell you though before we go about the stuff that we've got in. You can buy mugs now. You can buy your own toy shop on tour. T-shirt even. Look at that. High quality merch from Leicester Vintage and Old Toy Shop. And we've got three different designs as we well. We have, yeah, three yeah. different designs. You can go out and buy one right now. So yeah, that's it. Oh, opening times will be in the comments section or somewhere below the video, whenever we can work out how the technology works. And when I say we, I mean him. So yeah, don't forget to click stuff. Not said that one for a while. No, see you next time, people. <laughs> Goodbye. I really want to open this now. <laughs> <laughs>